me tell you a story. One that involves intrigue, mystery, incredible circumstances, misfortunes and fortunes, starting with the number 500 and ending with the number zero. It's a tale with a happy ending. But there are other numbers in between, such as 15.875, 14.92, and finally 12.28. So without any further delay, let's get into the story. on the white shadow and I'm going to show you why these Pirellis that come with the car have 16,000 miles on them, a little over 16,000 miles and and quite frankly the white shadow and I have been a little hard on them but I'm going to show you what's happening with them after 16,000 miles I think you'll be surprised so these are the Pirellis and they are 275 IR20s or 40, 40 ZR20s. Now I've got you upside down, but I want you to see what's happening here. I took it to the dealer because the motor mounts broke. And he pointed this out that the tread is beginning to separate. And you can see the line there. And he says, I need to get tires on it right away. So after only 16,000 miles, an uncountable amount of burnouts, and one trip to the track, these back tires have started to separate. Now I'm going to do something a little different. I'm going to have to get Pirellis again because the Goodyear's are special order and I need tires now. So uh, I'm going to go with Pirellis one more time and, uh, and then I'm going to weigh the options of the Continentals versus the Goodyear Eagles. I, I I would say that, you know, Nitto makes a good tire, Toyo makes a good tire, but I mean, this is American muscle car, so I want to keep it American. I mean, no, no offense to the Japanese tires, and you know, my hat's off to them, they make a great tire, but it's American muscle car. So I'm going to do, I'm going to buy something that is made in America. Not only made in America, but originates in America, if at all possible. Now, I'm going to buy some Pirelli 275s for the front. So on the rear is I'm going to put the Pirelli 295 uh, 40ZR20s. And I'm going to see if that increases my traction because all Dodge Challengers, other than maybe the V6, I don't know, the SXT, but all Dodge Challengers have this one thing in common. They have traction issues. That's because we have horsepower. So, off to uh, the tire shop and let's see what we can do. So right now, we are at Big O Tires. That's where we found the, the 295s. Everybody else had a special order on them. No one had them in stock, even American Tire, which is my favorite. The Big O Tires, they got them here for me today so that we could run tomorrow. Looks like the tires. We're gonna find out if these are mine. 295s, Pirelli's. We'll see. Look at the difference in tread of these things. The 295, 275. I'm gonna get, I should be able to hook up better now. We're recording. 
Daniel. We're live. Is, Daniel, you're live, Daniel. From What's Big up, tires. people? Big old tires, Rancho Cucamonga. We got any tires you want, any size you need. Come down and see Mr. Dan the Man. We're gonna put some brand new tires right here on this bad boy. Once the tires are on, we're gonna come back and show you what they look like. We're gonna you we're gonna go from these tires to some brand new Pirellis, front and rear. Dan the man looking out for you. <laughs> All right, here we go. What's your name? Robert. Robert, Bill. Rob? All right. You're a Chevy guy, I was told. Chevy guy, yeah. All right, that's okay. Well, you can work on the Mopar. It's still muscle. It's still all muscle. Muscle's muscle. Yeah. All right. We're going to put these new shoes on. This is the difference between the two. All right, check it out. Six cylinder scrambles. Really 275 40s on the front and on the back 295 40s R20. The Y rating. Okay, here we go again. Back at the track. I'm in line. They're gonna make me put my helmet on pretty soon. Let's see how we do. We've got them 295s, 40 R. 20s on. We're going to see if we can get a little more traction than the 275s. Well, with the 295s, even when I lowered the tire pressure, I'm getting worse times. And I am spinning the tires like going crazy. These tires are not hooking at all. I'm going to try and really heat them up this time and see what happens, but the truth of the matter is, I'm spinning, I had to let off all the way down the track because it was spinning around so, so bad. Okay, so what I learned, and some of you may know, and some, but some of you might not. So rather than have you make that expensive mistake that I made, I'm going to explain to you that even though you may have the same type of tire, where the front is a 275-40R20, and the back is a R295-40R20s, Pirellis. Pirellis. But, there is something that is significantly different besides the size between the front tires and the back tires and I'm going to show you what that is. And that is this little thing right here. Do you see where it says Treadwear 220? Let me show you what the rear tires say. The rear tires say tread wear 500. The front tires are 220. The back tires are tread wear 500. Let me explain to you what that means. So what that means is this. The lower the number, the softer the tire compound or the softer the tire, which gives it more grip. The higher the number, the harder the compound, which gives it less grip but lasts longer. And there needs to be that compromise between being able to grip the road and yet, you know, last in some length of time. That's why, as an example, the Pirellis, uh, the Pirellis that come with the car that came with this car only lasted 16,000 miles because even though I rotated them, they only lasted 16,000 miles because they are a softer compound. 
this tire on the rear is going to last a long time. But unfortunately, on this car, this tire is not safe. Because the more this tire spins, instead of getting softer, it gets harder. And you see in these videos what takes place. That as I left the line after I burned out, the tires started spinning at the starting line. When the Christmas tree came down to the green light and I was gone, well, I wasn't going anywhere very fast because my tires were spinning. And as you can see, they continue to spin. You can see the blue smoke coming out of the back of the car. Then you see the car sliding. And, you know, that's not fun at 80 miles an hour. <laughs> I would say these tires are dangerous for anyone with an SRT, anyone with a good amount of horsepower. These tires might be fine for the streetcar who's going around as an all-season tire radio, but for what we do and what the power that these vehicles have, this, this tire is a dangerous tire. So I have contacted Big O where I purchased them from and explained to them and asked them why do I have this tire since they knew the purpose of my purchasing the tires that I, and why I wanted to go up to a larger tire so I could get more hook at the track so it would have more traction. Stay tuned to find out how they responded. Big old tire shop stepped up to the plate. They, they traded straight across for those terrible tires that I had, the, the Pirelli uh, 295 40Rs that had were all seasoned and they had a tread wear rating of 550. Now, but these are the same as the front tires and these are uh, a tread wear of 220, which gives them a little more stick. Ready? Yeah, here we are. Check it out. Have the Goodyear Eagles supercars 305 3520s. They're a nice tire. It's ready to race tomorrow. Now these are 305s as compared to the Pirellis, which are 295s. The 295s I'm going to drive on the street. These tires, I'm going to just exclusively as I can keep them just for the track. All right. 305s, 35 ZR20s, Goodyear Eagles, Eagle 2s, right? Eagle F1s, whatever they are. So, these are what we're going to try and run on tomorrow at the Montana Speedway, and we'll see how they do. Okay, we're back at the track again. We're going to find out how these tires work. tires were all over the road. Did you see that? I hope your tires need to be broken because you never did get a hold of the right street.
So I had an interview with John. John is the manager of American Tire. And what he told me was that, yes, in fact, they uh, do train their people. However, they don't necessarily train them on performance tires. So unless people like you and me come in there and educate them, they're not going to know. They should know the difference between drag radios and road tires. The Mickey Thompsons being a drag radio and the Goodyear Eagles being a road course or a road tire. I'm pretty sure they know now. So, a big thumbs up to Big O Tires for stepping up the plate. Okay, we're headed back to American Tire where we're supposed to pick up our Mickey Thompson 305 35R20 uh, drag radios. Now, just to bring you up to date, I gave the first option to Big O Tires because Big O Tires, even though they did not guarantee their tires, they stood by the mistake that was made with the Treadwear uh, 500 and and brought in the summer tires, the Treadwear 220. And they told me initially that it was going to cost me a little bit more, $20, $30, whatever the difference between the tires were. And then when I got down there, they didn't even charge me that. They just, they just took care of it. They made the wrong right. Now, American Tires, where I'm going to now, they have a guarantee. They have a certification program, which I found out they didn't certify the tires, so I don't know why. But they also have a 30-day guarantee. They advertise that their guarantee you will be happy with your tires. Well, I wasn't happy with the tires. and But nevertheless, they said, well, we can't do anything about that because uh, you drove on them. You used them at the, the track. Well, that's why I bought them. They knew that from the beginning. I think what we're learning here is that these guys who are working at these tire shops don't really know what they're talking about when it comes to performance tires. And so you can't blame them because they're going to be trained by the companies that they work for. And, and granted, that although they may sell some performance tires, they sell mostly street tires to people who need tires for everyday commuting, not necessarily for performance. So when you come to these people for performance and you tell them, as I did, hey, what about the Goodyear uh, Super Tire uh, Eagle uh, 305s? And they tell you, oh, that's a great tire. What they don't tell you that is a road course tire and not a drag tire. Why? Because they didn't know that. They didn't know that it couldn't be a dual purpose. There's no sidewall on it, which is good for turns, but there's no flex. And so it doesn't grab. Even though it's a sticky tire, it just burns out just as, just like a regular summer tire does. So they did not honor their own word. Here we have one company, Big O Tires and Ranch of Cucamonga, who, not, who, who made the wrong right, even though they don't guarantee that. And we have American Tire up in Victorville who guarantees their stuff, their products, and yet didn't make it right. Now, to, to add the, the, the moral of the story is this, uh, I gave Big O Tires the opportunity to uh, sell me these Mickey Thompson drag radios, but they couldn't get them. And I said, you got a day, you know, if you can't get them in a day, because I'm gonna be drive, I'm gonna go to the track on Saturday. If you can't get them in a day, or tell me when you're gonna get them this week, then I'm gonna buy them someplace else. But I'm giving you the first opportunity because, because you did what was right. And I'm gonna do that in the future with those guys as well. But unfortunately, they didn't contact me back like they said I, I'm assuming because they got busy or whatever the reason might be but still my situation is I needed to get the tires uh, why have the wear and tear on the car if I'm not gonna hook up at the track so uh, but American Tire did and were able to get the tires and so I'm going to American right now to pick up those tires and have them put on those demon wheels because they're ten and a half inches and to take off those good years and then I'm going to sell the Goodyear separately, and the Demon Wheels uh, uh, are going to have the Mickey Thompson drag radios. What a journey just for tires. But you know, that's what happens when you have this thing called horsepower. <laughs> 
it is a good challenge to have. We can't blame the people for not knowing. Even though they are the tire shop guys and they should know, but they simply don't know. And so I'm not the kind of guy who wants to live by the grudge. If, the, if they made a mistake or they just didn't know, well, they know now. And I have no problem buying from American Tires. I'm going back to that same store. So here we are at American Tires to get these drag radios. Okay, there's some confusion about when we're gonna be here, but these guys are kicking, kicking it out now. So the thing's got ready. You can see the wheels. They're gone. And they're putting the other ones on right now. Right there. Shadows in the garage, and it's got the Mickey Thompson drag radios on. We've had some <laughs> major issues, expensive issues, and I've explained to you the best I can what I experienced. So uh, let me show you the differences. Okay, these are the Goodyear 305 35ZR20 supercars, Eagles. And they are a good tire. They, they do, you know, for what they're designed for, road course. And those are the Pirellis back there. Now look at the difference between the 305 Goodyears and the 295 Pirellis. Significantly different width. However, the Pirellis, for drag racing, even though they're a smaller tire, actually is better than the Goodyears because of, they're not designed to drag race. They're designed to road course. Now, now these are the Mickey Thompsons. So, Mickey Thompson, and there are the uh, 305s, 35R20s. Now, I'm looking for the tread wear and I want to show you this. Now this adventure started because the Pirellis that they go had sold me and put on the car had a tre tread wear of 500. Notice the drag radios. They have a tread wear of 000, zero, zero three zeros. There are those, you don't buy this tire because you want it to last. You buy this tire because you want traction. Uh, here we are, we're first in line, Fontana. So we'll see how it goes. We've got the new Mickey Thompson radios on. So we'll find out. Should be interesting. All right, I'll try and film the first pass with these Mickey Thompson. I did run a 12.258, which is my best time so far. Now that 
that's the story. Whether you want to believe it or not, that's what happened. It's an incredible thing to have to have gone through so much just to get where we should have been in the first place. Thank you for going along on this adventure. I know it was a long one. It was a long one for us as well. If you like the content, then hit the like button. If you want to go on our next adventure, hit the subscribe button. If you want to leave a comment, please do. And please share this video with someone you know. Until then, God bless you. Seven left lane. All right, it's best light. The other guy got it a little better light, but that's a good. That's his best one. One point four seven. He's looking good. All right, good light. Really good light.